All right, let's bring in Megan now for more on the weather. We could talk about it all 30 minutes of the show. Yeah, well, <laughs> when I saw that we were going to have temperatures up into the 90s and the amount of moisture that mm. was in the air, I knew we were likely in for real heavy rainmakers and thunderstorms mm -hmm. had managed to develop. Clearly, that happened, and we've been dealing with a very interesting setup. Now, these clouds uh, were causing quite a scene. It was taken a short time ago at 87th and Cottage Grove on the south side. Uh, they're pretty unusual, these clouds. Asparatus, I think, is what we would call these. Now, what that means, essentially, is that there's large amounts of water vapor in the air, large amounts of available moisture, usually form sort of on the fringes of a thunderstorm, and obviously, so we have plenty of those out across Chicagoland right now. You're looking live out over a picture here showing a little bit of darkness in the distance. No surprise there because uh, showers and storms do indeed continue. And in fact, let's take a look at the radar right now where we're looking at the uh, last line that prompted a severe thunderstorm and dropped really heavy rain now pushing over into northwest Indiana. So now for Lake and Porter and uh, over into LaPorte counties, we've got the very heavy rain. But now my eyes are drawn back to the west of Aurora, where once again we're looking at some heavy thunderstorms forming here again. Nothing's been severe yet yet at this point, but Ottawa stretching up to Rockford and back on off to the north and west. And this has all got to work through too. So this is going to roll right on top of the areas which have already had very, very heavy rains, heavy enough that we've got these warnings in effect until later this afternoon. Flash flood warnings uh, for the entire area shaded in the red here. We also have heat advisories down to the south and west, but with this rain, it's going to keep us a little cooler until uh, we can start to see a little bit of a break in the rain. Now at the moment, you can see the heavier rain starting to form again out west, and that's working in our direction. And there's the stuff I was talking about across northwest Indiana, too. We've had so many reports of incredibly heavy rain, especially to the north of the city. Uh, Haynesville, 7.1 inches of rain. Lake Villa, 5.3. Third Lake, anywhere around 5.5 inches there. Now not only was it rain, but also hail within the severe thunderstorms that we saw roll through. So in Glenview, hail was almost to an inch in diameter, 0.3 for Arlington Heights and 0.8 here in Elk Grove Village. So hail has been a factor too. Not good for cars and people out on the area roadways. And it's scary a lot of times for the kids. And we continue to see the potential for more shower and storm development. And it may re kind of resurrect itself into the evening and overnight again as well, depending on what happens during the remainder of the day today. But we're still at slight risk according to the Storm Prediction Center. Futurecast model is going to show uh, more development just kind of bubbling up. And here's the problem. When you have this muggy, moist environment, a thunderstorm gets going and boom, it goes. And oftentimes uh, you start to see training of these thunderstorms, which can lead to potential flooding. So we're looking at more thunderstorm development, though, during the course of the overnight. Um, and then by tomorrow, we may still have some thunderstorm activity in the mix. So storms off and on pretty much throughout the day. We're still looking at hot and humid conditions if we can get the sunshine out enough to pop those temperatures out. So I'm pretty rainy, which is been giving us a bit of rain cooled air, but heavy rainfall and flooding obviously occurring right now will continue to be a factor. So for today, looking at hot and humid conditions, storms are a given at this point. We have had them. We will continue to have them overnight tonight. Looking at shower and storm activity again, 74 degrees the overnight low. That tells me there's still a lot of warmth, a lot of mugginess in the air tomorrow. Once again, the potential for storms will be there, though the temperature does cool down a bit. And then seven day forecast. I feel like I haven't uh, been able to get to this much today because we've been talking about the here and no now so much. But uh, the good news is for anybody who's struggling with dealing with all this rain today, you probably have some cleanup to do up to the north and more rain to come today and uh, into the day tomorrow. But by Friday, it's sunshine, it's cooler conditions, it's less humidity, and that should take us into next week. So we started a real active pattern Sunday night, and we're kind of continuing with that. But essentially, the real problem today is the fact that there's just so much moisture in the air mm. that again those thunderstorms form and they can just really tap into massive amounts of water. Yeah. So thanks for breaking that all issue. down, Megan. It's yeah, yeah that's good. I mean you just need to be weather aware today. I mean I heard tons of cell phones going off mm -hmm. earlier when uh, the flash flood warning came up. Just make sure you've got some way to know what's and going download on. Download the CBS Chicago right. weather app. And don't too. drive through flooded roadways, yeah, please. Or you may be on our show later today and you don't want to do that. Thanks, Megan.